All right, hello, this is your Dreaded Crypto Maniac coming at you December 30th, 2020, almost New Year's. All right, so we're getting a breakout um, just to start it off with um, Ethereum. Yeah, so we had a little bit of an ascending triangle, or it could be end up becoming a, becoming a, a channel. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but more than likely it's a ascending triangle and we broke out and we're now testing the resistance as support now. You know, it could be a fake out and pop on back down. You, know, you got to know anything can happen and go up and do go down. Like that's just how the markets are, but just be prepared for either one. Um, but if you're holding, you're probably looking at some pretty good profits so far. Um, I said yesterday, my, my targets were seven and 800, but uh, all season coming up, I mean, I think we might go up to a thousand, but I mean, without a pullback, we went, if Bitcoin pulls back, which we're about to hit um, all-time high with Bitcoin, well, we hit an all-time high, but we're about to go to like 30k. Um, if that goes up and then pulls back really hard, everything else is going to pull back too. It's just, it's just how it is. That's life. Um, but depending on how much they pull back, will be interesting. Um, more than likely, I was reading something. Uh, Alt seasons usually are about a month skewed from the Bitcoin top. So Bitcoin, say if we top about a month or you know maybe a little bit more after is when say the altcoin season will top. So that's kind of how that works. Um, so we'll see what happens. It looks like we might be getting a little bit of rejection here on the. We went to 760. That level doesn't seem terribly uh, important uh, to me. I don't know why uh why would it fall? I don't know what kind of real resistance that is. Let's take a little bit of a look. Yeah, we're getting pulling back pretty hard. Not terribly hard, but it's definitely hard enough. Um I mean look at this thing, how parabolic it's kind of been. I guess Bitcoin's even been more uh, parabolic. So I mean, we haven't even hit the all-time high. I mean, we're we're halfway to the all-time with Ethereum. So it's crazy. It's a crazy world we're living in. But crypto is looking really strong. So I guess I had another target around the 900 level. Um. Come down to this Fibonacci. So yeah, well, what happens when we hit the Fibonacci? 770, 70, 780. So that makes sense that that would be a top as well as it was resistance over here. 790. These previous tops. So some consolidation right now with Ethereum would be expected. Um, hmm. We will see. Um, XRP is in a consolidation. Uh, my stream yesterday, I was just talking about how overbought or oversold it is, and the FUD is just so ridiculous. Um, but you know, look at this thing. I mean, at, you know, at least we'll probably get like a little dead count bounce or something to like thirty, I would think. Um, but I mean, how much more FUD can you get? It's being delisted by everybody. Coinbase delisted. I mean. How much more fuddy can you get? So apparently they have a meeting with the SEC in February. So there might be a lot of speculation. Probably a lot of tweets will go out. You know, Garlinghouse will probably be like, hey, we got, we're each in deals. And SEC might say something. And that will create speculation and a little bit of consolidation, maybe some pumps and a little bit of dumps. Until, like, that decision is made, we probably won't get back up to the those big dollar amounts. For a while, unless they like have some kind of closed door meeting and come to agreement, uh, SEC wants money. That's what this is all about: money and to set a precedent. There's probably gonna be other ones that'll go after as well, but take it as you will. I mean, it's still number three, number four market cap. You know, it's not gonna go anywhere. They just gotta make an example of them and create policies. You know, like everyone's there's not much there's so much gray area, and the, the policies have been so cloudy. Like you can't blame a company for being sketchy when there is no 
legislation that is very specific to cryptocurrency. This is still the Wild West, so who could blame anybody, really? Not saying that they're kind of sketchy, but they were doing things within, you know, the confines of, is this right or wrong? We don't know for sure, you know, so it will, we'll have to see what happens. Um, some of the, uh, some of the blockchain stocks did do well today and some didn't. Uh, Marathon went on a huge run. It was up like 10% and I sold some and then it went right back down just minus 7%. Then I bought some more. It's always cool when that happens, but like what's cool about some of these blockchain stocks is some will run one day and another will fall that same day and that one will run the next day. Like so what I've been doing is taking profits, putting it to the other ones that aren't doing good and just kind of running running the race with it. So not saying you should do that, but that's what I've been doing. It seems to be working pretty well. Um, I believe that the stocks, the crypto blockchain stocks, They'll, they'll follow uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I think when Bitcoin pulls back, they'll likely pull back as well. It's all confidence, blockchain technology and Bitcoin and mining. A lot of these companies have mining. Uh, I guess a lot of their business has come, comes from the mining, the mining equipment, uh, the distribution of it, whatever, whatnot. So their profits and everything is reliant on the success and profitability of Bitcoin so it makes sense that when Bitcoin falls so will the stock so just be uh, on, on the lookout for that one of the big ones I'm in is Silvergate, Hive, Marathon, Riot, um, a couple others oh I'm trying to think there's just a lot there's like Galaxy, Digital, uh, micro strategy. I bought one, but it's so expensive. I'm waiting for a pullback to get back into that. Um, yeah, Silvergate, Riot, Marathon, and I'm trying to think. Cobalt is another one. It's pretty cheap. There's a lot of cheap ones. Just Google. Uh, you know, actually, if you want to be really smart, not financial advice, but um, there's blockchain ETFs that have a group of, you know, performing blockchain companies and whatnot so those would be the safest bets theta has been on a huge run i'm glad i hold that i wish i held more um but that's like a streaming service crypto blockchain it attaches itself to uh, youtube in some kind of way and helps with i don't know decentralization i'm not i don't i don't fully understand it now what i might start doing is really uh delving more into what these cryptos do I know a little bit about most of them, but I don't know the super uh, technical stuff. But be careful with the FUD out there. Apparently, everyone's thinking, thinking that Link is going to get targeted. That's pretty unlikely. Um, Tron probably will by the SEC. Just a little heads up. And it's going to be interesting to see if the stimulus actually plays out. If we get that 2000 that's going to be super bullish for Bitcoin. Um, I just don't, it's just been such good. I mean, the fact that we got stimulus at all is we kind of had to get it, but that was good enough news to pump Bitcoin. Yeah, check this out. So I guess I'll have to edit my Elliott wave a little bit. Hmm. Let's just zoom out a little bit and see what we got going on here. I'm just going to edit the Elliott wave just a tad. Not cheating. Yeah, man. So, um, yes, our 200 day moving average is around 14. Let's take a look at the weekly. Um, we got to get, throw things in perspective. So as they say, when in doubt, zoom out. Let's take a real macro view of what's going on here. Oh, man, RSI is so overextended. I don't even know if we've ever been this high. Where are we? Uh, I mean, we might be at an all-time high with the RSI on the weekly. I mean, I'm sorry, but I do have speculative shorts now. I mean, they're 1, 2x margin. I'm not, 
you know, one, I'm not trying to get rich quick here, but this was just, <laughs> uh, wow, R -r -r you know, too good to be true. Uh, so, I, you know, we're going to correct. I mean, 30K is like one hell of a uh, number. So, God, you got to keep all these things in mind. Um, so, the 20 week is at 16, 17K now. So, and that will, it will come down and test that as support here soon enough. I mean, this parabolic run is going to stop at some point. So, yeah, I mean, I, I see us, you know, coming down in the next week. It's just what's going to happen. And, you know, by then, the 20 week would be 18, 19. So maybe we go wick down to 19. That would be bullish. Now, with that said, I mean, there is, could be, you know, what if just everything gets really goes to hell real quick? Black Swan event. Um, the, tw the 200 week is at 8,000. It'd be at nine or 10,000 by the time if it ever got back down there. I mean, that's, it would take a lot. Everything would have to crash. Bitcoin get hacked and illegalized. Everyone go after it. And it's not out of the realm of possibility, but super unlikely. So take that as you will. Um, yeah. So let's go, let's take a look. So everything else seems to be consolidating though. I'm I'm sticking to the altcoin season. We're we're gonna be going to it pretty soon. Link is consolidating and it's kind of like in a um it's in a really good buy zone. And uh some people were looking at the Ethereum big you know, Ethereum chart back in twenty sixteen. It was very similar to this. It kind of pulled back, real support, and then it just went off to the races. And a lot of people are comparing it to Ethereum. And if that's the case, I mean, link, link to a thousand, a hundred for sure. So, cool things, cool things ahead. I mean, link, link did really well when Bitcoin was pulling back and being boring, as with most, most altcoins, but it did extremely well last year in the bear market. So, I think it's reason to. Um, expect that it will do very well once Bitcoin cools off. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, gold gold rallied a bit today too. That's to be expected with the stimulus and U.S. dollar, um, all the money printing. Take a look at the U.S. dollar, the Dixie. Just kind of curious. Do -do 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 -do. Still looks bearish. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we'll probably, I mean, once that money starts really printing, we'll probably still keep going down. It just might be more of a steady. I thought it would, like, kind of spike down real hard, but whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> um, Ethereum and Bitcoin, that's the chart I was looking at yesterday with um, the test of support. Ah, look at that beautiful test. I, I'm glad I brought that up yesterday because I pretty much nailed it. Yeah, God, just that just that just looks really good to me. And yeah, we're pulled back. We're testing support right now, but we'll probably come on, start pulling back up pretty soon. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else to talk about? Litecoin. Oh yeah, so I was watching the BitBoy channel, and there's some insiders. Apparently, there's a chance that ADA will be listed on Coinbase very soon and it might be announced within the next day or two. So ADA will likely start popping and along with all twins, I think that's gonna be a big one. Let's take a look at ADA if I can find it. There it is, and I just moved the thing. What else is going? Yeah, Uni has been going pretty hard, Dot is pulling back. ADA is not doing a whole lot right now. Kind of curious what the patterns might be telling us. Do, do, do patterns. So it just looks bullish. So W 
It's probably cup and handle. Let's look at the. Yeah, this is a cup and handle formation. Giant W. Our top was. What was that? It was 38 cents. I mean, it was a dollar thirty at its at its height, but yeah, we're we're off to the races, give or take. Um, you can still use like some of these moving averages. I would I would say the two hundred daily would be a very good one to keep an eye on to, if you're trying to get a quick uh. You can set buy orders wherever that is, but we might not really hit it too often during the cycle. Um, I don't know with the weekly. The weekly might have a better moving average to kind of show. Yeah, it does, but I think we're off to the races with, with ADA. Just looks good. This is the four hour. Testing the four hour and probably bouncing off. Looks pretty good to me. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we're just kind of waiting for alt season, give or take. Waiting for Bitcoin. I hope it doesn't have a blow off top, but it's more than likely going to have a blow off top in the next day or two. 29, 30, 31, maybe 32. Maybe it goes kind of crazy. You know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, we're just in that really holiday rally, and I think things are going to keep going pretty good. Just expect uh, a few weeks from now we're going to be seeing some red and some pullbacks, and, you know, people are going to be taking profits and trying to pay off taxes, and they're probably waiting until, you know, a lot of people are hurt this year financially, and myself included, so, I mean, am I going to take profits this year so I can get taxed in April? No, I'm going to wait for after the first to take profits and liquidate stuff to, so I can get pay for the next year and not worry about it this year because this year was, you know, not a good show. So, all right, that's it for me today. Um, Y'all have a good night, and we will catch you on the flip side. Peace.